<sighs> this sucks. What's up guys, it is Limitless Mike. I just wanted to give a little context to this video before we get into it. So we are doing and reviewing track and field workouts and then we're gonna get into some hit workout, boxing workouts, blah, blah, blah. So make sure to stay to the end of this video so you can see, I guess my official review of what I thought at the end of the workout. And also if there is any workouts that you want us or want me to try and give a review on, or if you just think I should try, let me know down in the comments, subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into it. What's up everybody? It is your boy Limitless Mike. And today we're just trying workouts. So today we're gonna go, we're back on the track and we're gonna do a 400 meter workout. It's gonna be a hundred, a 200, a 300, a 400, a 500, and then back down to a 400, a 300, a 200, and a 100. I just found this one online. This is something that, you know, your crazy coach makes you do. And I just kind of want to test it, test my endurance, see if it's actually a good workout for someone to do. I think that this is one of those ones that you do like outside of the, the very competitive season. This is one of those ones that you do in the off season. This is basically to build like your speed endurance. So yeah, let's get into it. It's windy. First thing we got to do is warm up and then we're going to do it. All right, guys, now we're going to start. We're going to start off with 100, and then we got the 2, 3, 400, a 500, and then back down all the way to 100. We're supposed to take three to six minutes rest in between and go 80 to 87% of our speed or of our intensity. I don't really know what that means. How do you calculate 85 or 87% of your speed? I don't know, but to me, that just means give it a hard run, but not all out. Um, and yeah, let's get it. I'm going to let you guys know if this is what if this is a good workout if this is a bad workout is it overkill is it underkill it's just my overall review now let's get this hundred in all right first hundred that was easy now we're gonna do the two and let's see if it gets harder or, you know we'll see but first hundred you know that's easy now let's get it Two hundred done. Started to feel it, not too bad, but uh, starting to starting to get there. All right, now it's time for the three hundred. Let's get it. Come on, Mama Marty. 300 is done. Next. Oh. Our rest time is over. Now we're about to get it to 400. It's starting to get a little bit more difficult. Let's go. I'm tired. <sighs> I just started to get a little difficult. I finished it. It was, it was cool, but you know, that's where it starts to get a little more difficult. Now we got the 500. Our rest is basically up. We got the 500 and then we're headed back down. So this is going to be the one that sucks, but we'll push through. You know, we champions. We're buff. This, this is a good workout is all I can say. Now let's get it. Good job, good job, good job. That was hard. That, that was hard. Whew. Okay, 500, of course, that was hard. That was hard, you get tired. 
But now we're on the way down. We're gonna do our 400, 300, and 200. This will probably be pretty hard too. And then as we get to three, two, and one, it should lighten up a little. So let's get it. One thing that I have to say is there's just two of us out here. And I feel like one thing that's hard about this is kind of the mental side. It's like one, two, three, four, five. Now it's like five, you know, now we still got the four, the three. It's just us two. So just kind of the anticipation is, is difficult, but everything else is cool. Now let's do this 400. We're on the home stretch. We got the 300 next, then the two and the one. We made it. It's the last hundred. It's so far so good. The workout's not that bad. Just the four, five, four is a difficult part. And then it's kind of just cruising from there. So let's get this hundred. Let's get out of here and let's go home, baby. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's get it. We're done. One, two, three, four, five. Four, three, two, one. I'm tired. It was workout, baby, but we got it done. It's light work. Hold on, I'm gonna have a review for you. All right, so it took us about 45 minutes, about 2.14 miles. We. All right, guys, it is Limitless Mike. I'm back, and here is the review of the workout. So overall, the workout took us about 45 minutes to complete. We ran and walked. Uh, we ran and walked a total of 2.15 miles. So the walking is like just walking to kind of cool down in our rest or go to the next mark. It was about 300 calories burned for the workout. And overall, if I had to rate it, I would give it like an eight or nine out of a 10. I could definitely see how this would boost your, um, like your speed endurance. Um, it, yeah, it would definitely boost your speed endurance. Now, a time frame where I think you could implement this workout would be probably off season, preseason, kind of just away from like, hey, we're, we have a meet coming up and we wanna run fast. I don't think this workout is designed for that or that it should be done if you're trying to run fast you know i don't think i think that you should be doing this in the preseason basically also i don't know if this is a good workout to do with spikes because it is so much running because it's basically two miles of running and walking i would do it in flats and not spikes uh, and I just think you might develop, you know, this kind of how people get injured, especially for a younger athlete, you know, kids love to complain about their shin splints or they do get shin splints more than like a seasoned, um, you know, adult who's working hard, who's blah, blah, blah. So especially for the young ones, I would definitely make sure they did it in flats. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I think it's a really good workout. If when I or if I start coaching again, I'm going to have my kids do this one, but just away from the competition schedule. Uh, and I one more thought, I think if you're doing this in uh, like the competitive season when you're going to PR, maybe two weeks before you want to hit a PR, or the closest I would say is if I was to do a competition on a Saturday, maybe on a Monday, but even that sounds too close because this is a lot of running. Um, and yeah, but let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, subscribe to the channel. Blessings to anyone who sees this. Peace.